Thank you so much for joining us today for Friday, July the 12th of 2019. Uh, this is week 28 and uh, of the daily devotionals, and we are continuing to speak to you about the spiritual gifts. Today we're going to recap on miracles and prophecy. Now, uh, one of the things that we talked about when we spoke about miracles and healing was the difference between a healing and a miracle. And yes, there are differences between the two. You can pray for someone and uh, even lay hands on them and they can be healed. That's not necessarily a miracle. You can lay hands on someone and pray for them and a miracle is performed. So you have to distinguish the difference between the two and I think I covered that um, pretty pretty well earlier but the miracle is something that is extraordinary something that happens that that simply could not have happened on its own it's something that could not be um, attributed to anything other than you know God doing it it's just I mean honestly it's just that simple and we really want to we call a lot of things miracles that are not miracles you know if you've lost whatever you've lost around the house you know I misplace things sometimes and um, or I forget about something and uh, you know I said Lord remind me or where is it you know ask him where it is and he will tell me exactly where to look for it and that's not a miracle that is it honestly it's not a miracle oh it's a miracle I found it we use that term very loosely and um, because and so we downgrade what a miracle actually is when um, in the book of Acts when um, uh, Peter and John and James were leaving the temple and they, they the man that was laying there who was the beggar and then when they said you know silver and gold have I none but such as I have when they took his hand and he leaped up this man had been lame from his mother's womb that was a miracle that was not a healing that was a miracle that was something that that no way it could be explained that was a miracle when um you know when Jesus uh, healed the, the the man who was born blind that was a miracle that was not a healing and there are healings people who have hurt themselves and you know people who have something has happened to them or they're sick and things like that those are healings okay if you have okay if you have a um, kidney transplant let's just say that and the kidney is uh, it's been removed uh, or you need a new kidney or anything like that and I'm sorry yes okay yeah and one grows back that's a miracle you have a leg or arm or something amputated your eye put out or whatever and it grows back that's a miracle okay um, that's not a healing and I mean you may say well this seems kind of extreme no it's not okay when you have cancer a lot of people are facing cancer today when you have you've been diagnosed with cancer and they know you have cancer or you have lumps or whatever it is tumors and things like that and they disappear that's a miracle that's not a healing a healing is different okay you can lay hands on someone and um, they can be healed of sicknesses and diseases and things like that but a miracle is something that cannot be what happened to the tumor you can see it on the x-ray it's not there anymore that's not a healing that's a miracle and there is not no there's not a fine line between the miracle and the healing but there is a distinction it's still the same God the same spirit that performs the the healing and the miracle the power of God still is still God's power but it's manifested in a different way an extraordinary way that is beyond the ability to explain it you know what I mean that is one of the things that you want to make sure you understand okay and yesterday we talked about prophecy so we're going to go on to that and if if you are a prophet okay you're a prophet all the time and God can speak to you at any given moment and you will or you can hear or see or however it is that God shows you things because because on an individual basis the people uh, see things and hear things from God you know it, it's no no one can tell you how you're supposed to hear from God because 
that's their way that's not your way you can't do that and I know there are a lot of people out there writing books and saying a lot of stuff about how you can get this and do this if you do thus 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 and thus you'll get such and such and such that's just not true that's not true because God is going to deal with the individual and he's going to look at what's going on in their life what's in their heart and what real what he's calling for and what is best for them in relation to his kingdom that's how God deals with things and that's how he sees things so if you the spirit of prophecy can come upon you beforehand or you can be you can just walk into a place and you can look around the room or not look around the room but the spirit can speak to you about someone there that he has a word for and you can get it then or you can know ahead of time when you're going to go somewhere or you can hear it and you just you know maybe like i hate to say happen upon someone because god already knows that you're going to meet up with them but so the spirit of prophecy can work in any way any shape form or fashion okay it does not make you a prophet if you have the gift of prophecy and a lot of people have that confused as well uh so there like i said before there are a lot of people labeling themselves but when you put a label on yourself you limit god i'm not telling you that whatever spiritual gifts that the lord has given you that you manifest in your life that um uh, that that's not you know it but there is more to it than what you've been given now no one's been given all nine gifts of the spirit jesus is the only one who had those because he was perfect in every way we have not attained that perfection yet okay so we don't look for it but you can operate or flow in any of the nine gifts of the spirit the ones that i mentioned so far you have every opportunity to be used of god in these areas as long as you're willing and obedient okay well tomorrow we're going to be talking about the ability to discern and there's a lot of controversy about discernment but we're going to talk about that tomorrow okay we'll see you then